do both of those at the same time. We're professionals. By the way, let's have a big round of applause for our staff at Sloppy Joe's. Our waitresses are bartenders. Our food runners are barbacks. And of course, the most important person in this room, security, ladies and gentlemen, right there in the corner. That's right. That's right. He's, he's so humble, he doesn't like to hear that. It doesn't matter. So Christmas is over, but it's still Hanukkah. Yes, wow, it's right. really? It's still Hanukkah. Oh yeah, until Sunday, I do believe, right? Mazel tov, bitches. For my people. You know what I did for Hanukkah? Nothing. Actually, no, I went to the menorah lighting at Bayview Park, is what I did. Do they do that there now? And I had a free latka. It was delicious. Uh, if you don't know what a latke is, it's just a pancake made out of potatoes. Potato pancakes? Potato pancakes. Kind of like the one you get at Arby's, but better. All right, now for a special song. We have, you know, we have a lot of families in the room, and I don't want to do anything too dirty too early. So, uh, here's a little song that's not that dirty. This one's called Meth Lab Mama. A little song written in the great state of Utah. If you're from Utah, well, you can relate to this. This is a song that reminds you that you shouldn't meet girls on Craigslist. You never know what you're getting. Here we go. Un, du, tu, ca. She ain't too smart and she ain't too good But she knows how to treat me right She lives in a shed in the back of the house Cooking up a special recipe It ain't moonshine, it ain't fried chicken But it smells pretty good to me She's a meth lab mama She's got a baby on her head She ain't got no teeth She don't give me no lip She mean and she lean about 87 pounds Cooking up a batch of gold to sell them downtown, mama. Met that mama. Talking about my met that mama, yeah. She only comes in when it's cold outside. Sleeps by the foot of the bed. The rest of the year, she does no cheating and beer. I just live them by the door to the shed. She don't use my phone, don't use my car. Never use my credit card. Never hear a bitch when she's cooking in the kitchen in the shack at the back of the yard. She will meth that mama. She's got the legs like a llama. I don't have to buy her clothes. Cause she lives in her pajamas. She means to lean about 87 pounds. Don't start a fire, burn the double wide down. Meth that mama. Something real nice this year. Got you some perfume and some Sudafed. I mean, you know, Can I tell you something, baby? From about 30 feet away, if I squint, and I kid me, you look exactly like Amy Winehouse. Yeah. You try to make me go to rehab. I said, no, no, no. I ran black when I come back. I said, no, no, no. Tried to make me go to rehab, I said, no, no, no. And I ran back, but when I come back, I said, no, no, no. When I get out of jail, I'm gonna marry that girl. You can bet your bottom dollar on that. Cause there's money in the bank when she's cracking out the crack, and I know that she'll never get fat. She's a man left, mama. She's got a baby on her hill. She ain't got no teeth. Give me no little. She mean if you lean about an 87 pounds. Don't start a fire, burn the trailer park down. Let that mama. Talking about a let that mama. Hey, 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 hey. A little let that mama said no, no, no. Let that mama. Thank you, country music man, yay! Yeah, country music. I know we have some people.
people from a country in here. I'm from America. He's from America. You're from America? America? America. All right. I'd like to uh, congratulate the Cleveland Browns for actually winning a football game. I think it was pretty cool. I didn't think it was going to happen this year, but it did. So. Ruined our perfect record. But, uh, devastated. Well, as we mentioned, we like to write songs about stuff that we uh, make up our own stuff. Uh, this is actually a real life incident that we wrote a song about in a town called Winfield, Texas. A woman got drunk in a bar, got in a car, started driving home. She hit a guy with her car, a pedestrian. The guy she hit flew headfirst into her windshield, got stuck in her windshield. She never stopped the car. She drove 65 miles an hour down the interstate with a guy sticking out of her windshield. The guy survived the initial impact. She parked the car in the garage and while, she, while he was in the garage moaning and groaning and begging for help. She went inside and smoked pot with her boyfriend. By the time they came out, the guy had died. They tried to hide the body. They got caught. We saw it on court TV and said, now there's a song. Yeah. You know, there's just not enough songs about vehicular manslaughter these days, and we're going to take care of it now. This is a song entitled, There's a Dead Guy on My Windshield. Get him off. Now, you got a part in our song. Your part is this. You just yell, get him off when it comes around. This is a great one for the kids. They can just yell, get him off. All right, try it with the music. I hope you like it. There's a dead guy on my windshield, get him off. Get him off! That was great, that's the holiday spirit. Some of you were a little bit slower than others, so, you know, it's expected. We'll give you a nice shot.